of this Tekken and Fuse team, welcome back to another review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Tales of the Team T, Volume 2, Issue Number 12, the Paris Nocturna. So this issue, I was quite surprised by this one because we've seen Raphael in Paris with Shadow and it was a story which I was a little surprised by but also at the same time I'm really confused by because it's one of these kind of stories that they do ghosts and kind of stuff like that that you know, I wonder if it's actually really there or stuff like that. It's one of those really confusing ones. And with how it played out, it was interesting to say the very least, but I do feel like there was a little stuff in this one that was like really great, but I wish that they really went down and leaned into what, what, more of that one path and just really go into other uh, different areas of it. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so the actual story itself, we do get to see Shadow, she's on a plane to Paris, and this is her first time going there, and she hasn't been, like, basically, like, left to farmhouse in quite a while, and this story takes place in 2002, and she's going there on a school field trip, but she plans to intend, like, basically leave the group as soon as she can to go off and do her own thing, which, you know, is understandable for a person of her age and all that sort of stuff. And we do get to see that Raphael has stowed away in the back, and he's sleeping in the cargo area, which, uh, yeah, it, you know, this tells us what can we explain, oh, I mean, like, what can we say about it? Um, but then after that, we do get to see uh, Shadow, she's going around Paris and looking around all the sites, just like the Eiffel Tower and stuff like that. And she's talking to her classmates about some interesting facts, which some which I was not expecting to hear about. I mean, one of them they're talking about uh, Hitler and about how basically they basically Hitler and the Nazis and all that went. I think the story went something along the lines. Basically, they went through Paris to do one final finishing lap, and they succeeded. I think, but I'm not exactly too sure about that. But either way, that's the story which they told in the comic, and there's a few other little interesting facts in there, which I must admit I was quite surprised, which I've actually learned quite a lot about this one. Just because in this issue we do find out that in the Paris uh, sewers they used to do uh, tours down there. And in those sewers, they had the street, uh, like, signs from, like, the streets on the sewers, which I must admit, I was quite surprised by that, because, well, you never really get to see that in any other part of the world, so that was an interesting fact. Uh, but we do get to see here, we do get to see Raphael, he's travelling in the sewers, trying to keep up with Shadow and see where she's going and stuff like that, and he's uh, finding it qu like, quite easy because of the signs in the sewers. However, he has got stuck a little bit just because there are a few blocked walls and stuff like that. But after that, we do get to see Shadow, she's about to go in with her, into a church with her friends, but she decides not to, and she decides to go off and, you know, go do her own thing. And that's when she goes down to this cave sort of thing, and she comes in contact with this man, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but this person was speaking in uh, French, I believe. And uh, basically, Shadow starts to speak in French just so that it's a bit easier. However, Raphael was in trouble because as he tries to go over to try and reach uh, Shadow, that's when he encounters this like demon type thing, like goblin. And uh, so he gets out onto the streets, and that's when we do get to see the police, and they run after him and shoots him in the shoulder. And this actually really affects Raphael to the point where he has to go home to uh, Shadow's uh, hotel room, and he's almost bleeding out. What I want to say. So Shadow does do an operation to get rid of the bullets, and they do do that. But Raphael basically. Uh, unconscious for about a day. So after that we do get to see Raphael, he wakes up and he leaves the hotel room and goes off to find Shadow and we do get to see Shadow, she's talking to the person she found a few days before and this is when we do get to see the demon goblin thing, he comes out and Raphael's there, they're about to fight but that's when we do get to see the police, they show up and they shoot the goblin thing and we do get to see Raph and Shadow, they uh, sneak out and that's pretty much it for the story. Now there's a little epilogue bit at the end of it, and this epilogue bit, it does reveal a little bit more about the history behind that, uh, that man that Shadow found. And it turns out that this man, basically, he was like down in those caves, and he died, and now his ghost is there to haunt the place. However, his ghost isn't really there to actually haunt it, he's more just like to help people out who really need it and who are young, which I must admit I do find a bit weird, but also at the same time, like, how do you say, like, what would you say, like a young age, you know, I think like there's... There's not really too much clarification for that, so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I do feel like overall this whole issue has been a pretty interesting one, really great. I always do like it when the tourists do explore and go out to other countries. I always find it, like, so fascinating to see them in, like, different locations and stuff like that. And seeing them here in Paris in, like, new locations, new enemies, new characters, it's so fascinating really great, and 
it's something which I do hope they do do a lot more of in other uh, like future Tales of Timothy issues or like maybe in other stories or stuff like that. But I feel like there's a lot of potential here to tell like stories in new countries and stuff like that. Now the artwork itself was something which I was quite surprised at, just because I'm pretty sure I've seen these artists done like other Tales of Timothy stuff, but I can't put my finger on it like what specific issues done before. But I feel like he might have done uh, like a few issues in the early parts of this um, Tales of Timothy stuff. I feel like I may have done issue number one, I think. I'm not too sure about that, but I think he might have. But either way, I've really enjoyed this artist. He did like a really great job of what, you know, what I wanted to see. Just the Tales looking great, uh, the world looking great, the character looking really great. And it's artists which I'll definitely like to see come back and do some more Tales stuff because they really have like a really good eye for like drawing like this kind of stuff and I really like to see them like draw like, other countries because I feel like they could tell like really interesting tales. Now these stories I have been known to really give my opinion about the black and white aspects of these comics and uh, to say the very least I'm not a big fan of it. However with this issue and how this artist drew the comic I really enjoy it being in black and white. And I have to say that something about it being in black and white for this issue with this artist really did give like a different kind of feel which I was not really expecting. It really did lean into more the horror like aspects of this thing. I, I don't know, I think something about it because it was more of a horror type thing with ghosts, demons and stuff like that in Paris and all that. It really did give off like a new like kind of feeling and vibe to it. And I think that the black and white aspect of it really did give like the... Um, how to say this, like an old like movies horror type thing, which I just think worked really well for it. Which I was not really like expecting it to, just because I've been open. I mean, I've been very open about it how much I dislike the black and white aspect of it. But yeah, I mean, this issue it really worked for some reason. I don't know why, and it should not have because I don't like black and white stuff. But <laughs> it really worked here, and it yeah, it worked full bear for it. Oh god, but. Yeah, but this issue, I think, like, overall, there's not really much I can really say, like, bad things about it, because it was just a really good complaint issue. I just wish there was a lot more to it. I think that's my big complaint about it, it's just that I wish there was a lot more, like, filler stuff in this one. And I think, like, that's my biggest problem with this one, is that I wish this whole issue was longer, and just have, like, a bit more filler-type stuff to really explore Paris and stuff like that, but... Other than that, I think that this issue was just, like, really great. I loved it with it. This scene, like, just, you know, just, like, going straight into a story and just going straight into with it. It just worked really well. And I must admit, Shadow's really grown on me as a character, and I would really like to see a lot more of her. And especially this artist. I, I, I don't know why, this artist worked really well for this uh, comic. And we'll have to see all... I think about this issue just come back in, in other issues. Ah, oh, God, but, uh, yeah... Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this issue. Do you like it? Do you not? And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you haven't, please share, love, subscribe, and all that stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.